newer plane comes a new coffee pot. Okay, well, I just left Tac Air, got some coffee and ice. Uh, bigger airplane, more ice, more coffee, you know. But that's just the way it is. So we're taking off at 8, flying to Nassau, and then we're returning on the airlines with a stop in Charlotte on the airlines. Um, I'm running a little bit behind because uh, I had a last minute request to go pick up some uh, breakfast stuff, muffins, things like that. Uh, so that put me a little bit on my way, but we're still good. And uh, Jeff is the captain. He's working on a day basis. Um, we decide what's going to happen with this airplane here. But he's a great guy. I've flown with him before. It's there. Yeah. We got nine seats and eight passengers today. Check the power on it. Sun's coming up. It's gonna be a glorious day. Can't wait for it. Do a little flying, flying to the beautiful Nassau area, flying to the beautiful Bahamas. Let's take a look at the outside of this beast. Now that we got a little sun on it, look at that. Good looking airplane. Challenger 300 has a 3,100 nautical mile range and cruises at 459 knots, so it's faster than the Excel. It's also got a service ceiling of 45,000 feet. This is a big airplane, a lot bigger than what I've been flying lately, but I used to fly Gulf Streams, Falcon 50, so, you know, that kind of gives me a background for it, and as far as the size, it's really pretty easy to fly. Here's the baggage, lots of room. I would say good morning already. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're in the Challenger this morning, Challenger 300, and uh, oh, a lot of you guys ask, I'm not typed this in it. Uh, that really is dependent upon what they end up doing with the airplane. Oh, that is and uh, I'm with Jeff today. Good morning. Jeff's got a lot of Challenger 300 experience, so uh, we're using him by the day right now. He flies a Challenger 300, his full time job. And we're on our way to Nassau. What was it going to be, 237 to Nassau? Uh, thereabouts, yeah, we've got, yeah, we got about an hour and 50 minutes remaining. Yeah, we only got 16 knots of wind. There we go. We're not going to stay in Nassau. We're actually going to head back on the airlines. We're taking off at 2.30, uh, Fly American, stop in Charlotte, probably have uh, lunch or dinner, whatever. That would be closer to dinner, I think. And uh, get into St. Louis, I think it was at 9.30. And then we come back Tuesday and pick the airplane up again and fly back to St. Louis. My name's Jeff. Jim asked me to say something to introduce myself and my aviation background. I also live in the St. Louis area, uh, although I may as well given myself away once again as not being a local guy. I uh, started my flying career when I was 12. My father bought me a trial flying lesson when we were on vacation in uh, Jersey in the Channel Islands in England. And when I returned home to the Northwest, uh, that became my hobby. I uh, used to actually cut school to go flying and uh, worked at the local flying school uh, to earn flight hours. Uh, if you got to cut class, that's that's the thing to cut class for. Absolutely. And, uh, I don't think they really liked it, but they didn't seem to mind. I think they <laughs> understood they couldn't really stop me. Uh, when I was 17, 
I left school and went and did a commercial pilot's license um, uh, at a place called Cab Air College of Air Training, which doesn't exist anymore. Shortly after I left and completed the uh, European MCC courses and uh, MCC, what's MCC? Multi-crew cooperation, so they, they actually require you to have a separate course oh, really? to operate okay. a multi-crew aircraft uh, or to be eligible for a multi-crew aircraft type rating. Shortly after all of that, 9-11 happened and I gained an instructor rating Air Shuttle 6144, uh, came to Scottsdale, Arizona and completed a standalone FAA commercial and instrument and because of the uh, exchange rates, I did a Citation 500 series type rating. Oh, I didn't I realize could. you had the 500 series. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good one to have. Then I managed to get some freelance work when I returned to England, and it, by word of mouth, increased from there. I uh, went on to get a Learjet 45 and uh, Hawker type rating. Uh, to this day, the majority of my experience is in the Hawker. Uh, I also hold the Citation 525 Series S type rating. Uh, in addition to the Challenger 300, I've got second in command types in the Gulfstream 150. Uh, the uh, Falcon 5900, I used to fly a 900B a little bit back in Europe. Lindbergh 4538, uh, maintain About nine years ago, uh, almost, I was over visiting some friends in uh, Springfield, Missouri, and found myself being Lindbergh. offered a job. Challenger 5, Lima, climb, maintain, level 430. There we go, we just got a port. What do you think we should talk about here? Okay, well, we're, we're kind of in such good shape. We're really struggling for something to do, but um, one of the things I can see that the, the fuel's are really well balanced at the moment, so really we don't really need to worry about doing anything. But I can do various things. I can pull up person optics for all of the systems. So you've got anti-ice, environmental, and uh, you, you can see the green lines Everyone is where the air's all flowing, one, two, five, the selected eight, temperature and the temperature we're actually five, achieving eight, seven, in seven, both seven. the cockpit and the cabin. Uh, the electrical system, uh, flight controls, uh, hydraulics. I can just put a summary of all the systems, but let's just look at the fuel for a second. So the way this works, you've got two tanks. We can look at the quantity in each tank, the total quantity remaining. What we've used so far on this flight, so in 46 minutes we've burnt up 2,410 pounds. And we can see the bulk fuel temperature, the temperature of the fuel feeding to both engines. And as you can see by the synoptic, the APU actually feeds off the right tank. So what I like to do is put about 100 pounds more into the right tank uh, before we descend and that way we know the fuel's going to remain balanced throughout the rest of the flight so i'm going to open the uh, transfer valve which it has done and then turn on the left pump to pump fuel from the left tank into the right tank <laughs> I was telling him earlier, some people are shy about being in videos, uh, others are not. <laughs> it, it depends on the on the subject matter, I guess, but uh, no, I'm not shy about this. Yeah. 
So, but uh, yeah, it's a cool airplane. We've got uh, we actually have eight passengers today. We got nine passenger seats back there. We got a full stand up lav, and uh, the cargo area and back the baggage area is after the lab and it's really nice because it's pressurized you can just walk right into it say you left something in a bag you need to get it just walk back there and get it so very cool we're zipping along ground speed of 450 knots we're at uh, 41,000 feet we'll go to 45 air shuttle 6144 contact Atlanta Center 125.182 in the summer when you come to the aircraft and the aircraft's hot uh -huh. take a bottle of water and sit it on there Oh, that's so a good while idea. You, while you're getting the aircraft ready, by the time you get in to start engines, uh -huh. it will be cold. Oh, I want to have to remember that. One, two, five, eight, two. All right, we're going to put it up here. There we go. Atlanta Center, uh, Challenger 5 Lima's with you at 410. Challenger 5 Lima, Atlanta Center, Red. Five five one two runway one four continue approach winds two zero zero degrees and zero five knots. Continue and regressing long levels. Right, now jets to the left, isn't it? Minimums. I continue. Okay. He's off the runway. Okay, jet, jets on this side, isn't it? So I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna pitch for the R and T if I can. And the is correct. Yes. Zero zero. And the four landing jets. One hundred. Standby frequency change. 50. About 400. 20. 512 Lima Lima. 10. Contact departure 121 decimal zero. 512 Lima Lima. Thunderball 400. Contact departure 121 decimal zero. 21 nothing. Have a good day. Thunderball uh, 400. Good job. Thank you. Thunderball 5512. Runway 14. Clear to land. Winds one nine two degrees. Yeah, so it's gonna go for you. Yeah, nine one four. Thunderbolt five five one two. All right, let me open this door and start throwing out bags. All right. Okay, we're gonna clear customs real fast and then come back out here and take care of the airplane. Oh my gosh, that's just incredible. Him. Just missed him. Oh, I'm he glad he made it. He ran out. His wife got out. They ran to the... Here we go. This is the right flight, isn't it? <laughs> C24F. Gate B12, and we're right out of here. Almost there. Back on another flight. Oh. Hi. Back in St. Louis, but not done yet. Got to catch an Uber. Take it back to Spirit of St. Louis Airport. Pick up our vehicles. Are you Abraham? Yes, sir. Great. Thank you for picking us up.